So today we're going to build the Vavor library cart. I just unboxed this. Um, the box is extremely heavy and while I was taking it out of the box, I did see some scratches. Um, so be prepared that there is going to be some scratches if you guys need this in pristine condition. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of nicks and everything out of here that I just want to share with you guys. Sorry about the chalk marks. My kids like to play with chalk. But the first thing I did is try looking for the instructions. And these are the instructions. They don't really help very much. So today we're going to put this together. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually put the wheels on first. I have one on. They are a little tricky to get on. But what you do is you just kind of just put it right in here and then you don't turn the wheel you got to actually screw this little uh part right here but if you guys can see it i'm actually getting the wheel on it's hard doing this with one hand but i'm screwing the wheel on just with this little part right here so i'm going to continue putting the wheels on so here we have the wheels on i don't think i have the wheels on right because i think i put two of them on the wrong side i don't know but I'll figure that out once I get the cart made because I can easily take those off. So this is the outside of the cart and this is the inside of the cart. So the way what you're going to do is you're going to take a shelf. You're going to make sure you have this part right here lined up to that. And then you see these little two holes right there. You're going to screw those in like that. Now they did come with a pack of screws with a little tiny little Allen wrench. I have one also, but uh, we're going to screw this in and see what you guys think. Okay, so here we're just going to take the two screws and put them right in. And we're just going to take your little Allen wrench. And I like to do it with my hand. It's a lot faster until I get to the part where I need to tighten it up. Now I don't have them screwed, this one screwed in yet, but you're basically just going to have it where it lines up with that. And then we're also going to screw the tops to this also. Um, I don't know if all three of them are the same size or not. I don't know because the instructions does not help, but we're going to see what we can check out. Okay, so there is a difference between the two. This one has just, this is the first one I put in. It's already screwed in there. If you can see, it's smooth on one side, smooth on the other. This one is smooth on this side, but it has these little screw holes. Like, I don't know if you guys can see it. The lighting's not the greatest, but they have these little screw holes right there. And I'm assuming this goes on the bottom and it's a more tighter fit. So what we're gonna do first is screw those two holes in and then I'll screw the tops on. So now we just gotta make sure these line up with each other, but it's kinda hard to do this with one hand. So let me try to get it started, and then I'll show you guys what to do next. Okay, so I screwed these two in. Super easy um, for the top because you don't have to worry about anything. So you just start, put it in that hole, and then you just go all the way around until it's super tight. So, pretty easy. Um, I seem to mess up more when I'm recording, but when I'm not recording, I do just fine. So, like I said, I seem to do better when I'm not recording. Um, but, there it is. We have our first shelf built. Um, and now we're going to put the next one on. So I have all the shelves sit on here. It is a little wobbly, but um, like the top one is like super wobbly. But what I'm gonna do next is put this on top of this and I'm gonna have my son help me, but then I'll show you guys what it looks like after I put it all together. But uh, we're getting there. Okay, you guys, here is the cart that I built. I was not expecting it to take forever. I do recommend if you have two people build it to have two people build it, but otherwise than that, it actually is a very sturdy cart. Um, it did come with bookends, um, so they're kind of scratched up again. So one thing I do want to say is they didn't pack it well enough. Love Vivor, I love their products, but um, 
the box was not packed very well. I mean, they had it pretty tightly fit, but otherwise, there's just scratches all over the place. And the box was kind of beat up too when we received it. But other than that, this is perfect. Now, the thing is, you don't have to use this just for library books. Um, I own a small business, so I plan on putting a lot of my stuff on here that I like gonna work with, like on crafting and everything. I mean, you don't have to have just books. I have like little frame things that I do. There's a bunch of other things that I can use for this. I mean, perfectly, I, I do craft sh shows um, every f winter. So I thought this would be a good thing to bring with me when I do a craft show because I can display so much stuff and it's super easy. I mean, it wheels. The wheels do lock. I have it on both this side and all you do is you just push it down and it's locked just like that. So now this thing will not go anywhere. Then you just press the top like this with your like tippy toes. Um, I had it figured out. Yeah, there you go. And voila. So it's super, super easy. Um, but I plan on using this for when I have my craft shows. And then I also do, um, I also uh, do garage sales and this is a great thing to put products on like just kind of displaying stuff so you can make a sign and says hey this is what this price is but absolutely love it I mean it's a pretty tall product it's probably about four feet tall maybe about four feet wide um, but I absolutely love it I can use more I can have more things with it than just putting library books on it so if you guys are looking at build, looking at something like this, this is a great thing to get. Super easy, so many uses other than just a library cart, and I absolutely love it, and I cannot wait to put it to use. So, pretty excited for that, and my kids are actually really excited because we can also put other things on here too, like some of their toys, if I wanna organize some of their toys. You can also get little bins and put little toys there. So, so much stuff I can do with this with just a little cart that is super easy to move. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See you later, bye-bye.